Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna be installing a keyless entry system on this Subaru behind me. Never once have done this in my life. I have no clue what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna wing it, and if I can figure it out, I'll show you guys how it is done. I use this tutorial on probably any Subaru, but even more than that, any car in the world. So let's get to work. First thing, let's get this project out of the shop and get the legacy in. What I actually had to order is a motor for, this goes inside the uh, door panel to the door lock. So it's like a uh, door lock actuator, I guess it'd be called. So that mounts to the door. This rod right here connects to the door lock switch. Because this car behind me does not have one in the driver's side door, it has them in all the other doors except for the driver's side door. So we're gonna have to go ahead, rip open the door panel, throw out, throw that in there, and then I'll show you how to wire it. It's pretty easy. Essentially, you take on this wiring here, on this big jumbo jumbo, we're taking all the oranges and the black wire that goes to ground, both yellows and the red wire that goes to positive. The white wire, let's see on his paper, the white wire is for closing it or locking it and the white wire with a black stripe on it is to open the doors. So I'm gonna go ahead get this door lock actuator mounted up first and then we can go about mounting this right here, the actual module to unlock the doors and get it wired. So I'll show you how to, every car is gonna be different. A lot of cars aren't going to need this aftermarket uh, door door lock motor inside the door panel because a lot of cars already have them. So it's all car dependent. This is a 96 Subaru Legacy. I know I know a lot of these older Legacies and Subarus don't have the door locks uh, motors inside the door panel. So we should be good to go as soon as I get this motor up and running. Let's get this door panel pulled off. So as long as the door panel still fits, we should be in business. It's a little tight, I'm not really liking it there. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to move it somewhere else. So the door panel wouldn't fit where I had it up here, so I relocated it down to there. And now let's see if the door panel will fit now. Really hoping it will. Still is in the fucking way. This fucking car. F you, you fucking piece of shit. you so we need to find a constant 12 volt so one that's always got constantly 12 volts whether the car's off or not and then somewhere just to ground two wires to and we are done so what we're going to be doing guys is actually mounting this box right here under the under this panel here because it's very easy to find a constant 12 volt under there then you're gonna have to run a black and a white wire or not a black and white a white wire and then the black or white wire with a black stripe on it 
through the door jam here and into the door. And th those will be connecting to these two wires here. So let's go ahead and rip off this little panel here. Very simple to do, two more screws. The hardest thing about this is going to be you're running those two wires into the door. It's actually gonna be a little bit rough. So now I'm gonna grab some wire. That's the first thing I'm gonna do is run some wire through the door jam. This is gonna be pretty difficult to do. So I have this spool of wire. I'll have it linked down in the description box below if you wanna go fix them up. Pop off this door seal here. Hopefully you guys can see. And we're just gonna run it right through this seal. Okay, now that we got that done, it is time to wire up the power and ground. So ground, I'm just going right here. Power, I'm going off of this red wire going to the OBD2 port. Like I said, guys, the yellow wire, the yellow wire with the black stripe and the red wire are, are all power wires. So those are going to the red wire on down here. Alrighty guys, let's wire this up. So the white wire is it open and we're gonna make sure everything works. So for now I'm just kinda throwing them together to make sure everything's gonna work properly before I actually crimp everything. Let's grab our remote. There it is. Okay, so to connect a remote to the box, there's this little black button you hold down until this box clicks. Like that. And then you press the lock button here. So I have these wired backwards currently. So the lock button is actually unlocking everything. So these two wires here, I'm gonna go flip around and that should totally fix the issue. There's unlock, there's lock. Works like a charm. Let's go ahead and get everything crimped together and throw everything back together. So I'm gonna be using these little butt connectors here to get these two wires connected on both ends of the black wire. You can go ahead and heat shrink those if you want. From here, I'm gonna install the door panel back onto the door, make sure everything fits. Pretty dang sure it will, but let's just double check. Better fit, everything's screwed down now. All right guys, everything's all finished up. From here, all we have to do is just tuck up this wiring, tuck up the box. So I'm zip tying all these wires together, kind of try to get them out of the way a little bit. And we have the option of installing this light. It's like a little fake security light of some sort. So that's all gonna be tucked under there somewhere. I'm just trying to figure out where I wanna put this light. Running up through here. I'll just make it easy and put it on this panel here. So I'm just gonna drop, grab a drill bit and drill a little hole. All right, got that little light installed. Now I'm just gonna tuck up this box. As you can see, when you unlock the doors, that light goes off, so it's not on while you're driving around. That'd be really annoying. Last thing is to put on this little kick panel, and we are done. All right, let's make sure everything works. So right now, it should be unlocked. Let's lock it. Awesome. Unlock. Heck yeah, we are golden. Alrighty guys, that is gonna wrap up this video. Overall, install was like a five out of 10. The only hard thing about the whole install was getting that damn actuator inside the door mounted properly to where we could actually get the door panel on. Other than that, everything was pretty damn simple. So I hope I explained everything good enough. So I'll have everything, if I feel like I didn't explain it good enough, I'll just have everything on the screen or down in the description box below. But I feel like I did a pretty jo good job explaining it. And as always guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I'm gonna have everything you need to do this down in the description box below as well. So the door lock actuator and the actual keyless entry system itself. So make sure you guys go check out those links. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button down below. 
Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.